You can never tell what's really ancient. That, that could be 400 years old, or the props guys could have made it yesterday. Right. Because all the stuff on the, on the set was like that. Really? Some of it's real, some of it they just... Terry, make me a 1460 set of drawers with a cupboard underneath for a hen, will you? What colour, Gaff? Brown. All right. They can do. They could do anything. You should have seen the, the special effects rooms and, and the art room where they're making all these little heads for the goblins and things. They're just. Did anything stunning. go home with you? Did you take anything? Certainly home? not. What sort of man do you think I am? Well, let's show that videotape of you on the set. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Have you seen the you CCT? The, have you seen the security tape? What was your first recollection of hearing of Harry Potter before, before movies? Anything? Who, who um, told you? Word of mouth, it's the usual way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Somebody said, have you th read the Harry Potter books to your children? I said, no, I haven't seen any. So I got one and read it, and I thought, this is just dynamite. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And who knew what would happen? Who knew? How does it feel being part of what will be a classic? I think it's great. It's, it's a great feeling. I was, I've often thought when I'm watching things like uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Mary Poppins with my kids, you know, I just think, wouldn't it be great to be in a film like that? And, Whole generations of kids would, you know, would see it, and now it's happened. Wow. Can you wish? <laughs> wish riches on me, will you please? I uh, wish riches on you. <laughs> I just want, I just want a Coen Brothers movie where I play a pimp now, oh, just to get all this. Out. <laughs> Good for you. That's right. You don't want to get a sleaze bag, you know, with a with a big ring and a gold chain. What did you think the first time you saw yourself in Full Mega? Uh, I thought, Good God, who's that, really? A lot of time and effort went into it. I would that. imagine. How long? We did a lot of tests and um, um, about an hour and a half most mornings. So that, I mean, we got it down to about forty-five minutes, um, and the glue's not really pleasant. You don't want to know about that. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> These children are delightful too. Aren't they? That, yes, are they? and I think it's because they don't have a long history in this business. I think that probably helps because they're not so showbiz kids, they are real kids. But uh, it's also a, a, a great tribute to Christopher Columbus for getting that performance from them, because they, um, they do need quite a lot of directing children, um, particularly if they're not familiar with cameras. I mean, I'm an old pro, I say, what are you, what are you on, a 45? And I know exactly where I'm at to focus and in focus and you know, all that stuff. But they're, they're 11, 11, for goodness sake. What was your medium? I could hardly wipe my nose when I was 11. You know, I, all I wanted when I was 11 was a, a good bit of elastic in my catapult and, you know, enough toffees to last the afternoon. That was me. And there they are on a, on a three million pound set <laughs> spouting forth. It's extraordinary. Nothing wrong with that. That's no, okay. of, no, 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 there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's not a criticism. It's a, I'm offering my admiration, that's all. What was your meeting like with J.K. Rowling? I didn't actually meet her till the day of the read through, but I'd, we, we had several phone conversations and talked a lot about Hagrid, obviously, um, because she knows so much about all the characters. It's really quite extraordinary. It's almost a, after you've talked to them for half an hour, you think they're real. You think you were talking about real people. Right. You know. What's great, too, is that in our mind, we had pictured what it would be like, and mm -hmm. this film succeeds in, in really? our imagination. Yes. In, in I think so. I think so. Uh, so, particularly, I think that one scene when the the boats are going up and then, and then Hogwarts is revealed. It's exactly as I always imagined it. Right. Well, thank you very much. It's good Cheers, to see you. Cheers, bud. Thank you.